at the start of the year, I made the biggest and boldest decision in my life. I moved out to another country while on vacation. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Alex, and I used to live in Australia. Now, which country did I move to, you might ask? Is it the land of the free? The land of the rising sun? The Zealand of the new? The Zealand of the new? Oh, wow, you're so dry. New Zealand, the country most famously known for having more sheep than people. Specifically, I moved smack bang right here in Auckland. Most of you know me as an Australian, but I actually grew up here as a kid. That's me, right there. I've been living here for three whole months now, and that might come as a surprise to my friends back at home as well as my friends here because I never really properly announced it. Like I said, I made the decision to move here while I was literally on vacation. So, why the big move? I'm now 24, turning 25, and I felt like it was about time I made really big, dumb, stupid decisions in my life. A really big, dumb, stupid financial decision because, holy crap, New Zealand is expensive as fudge. A lot of my friends poke fun at me for moving out here because of this very reason. But like, I can always move back home whenever I want to. I acknowledge that it's such a huge privilege that I can move wherever and whenever because of my job as a content creator. I guess I just didn't know when I wanted to move, where I wanted to move, and my motivation for moving until I got hit by a truck. The quarter-life crisis truck, that is. Life is meaningless and I want to die. Dang, you need to do some soul searching. You can rent the upstairs bedroom if you want. And soul searching and renting I did. Also, another reason for my move is that I feel like I just needed to struggle with life a little bit more because living under my parents' house made me too comfortable and sheltered. My dad cooks, my mom does laundry. All I did around the house was wash the dishes, work on videos, and try not to burn the house down while I cook Shin Ramyun noodles. I was convinced that that was the adult life. And that is why I haven't been posting on social media because I'm out here finally getting my overdue course of adulting. It's finally time that I do something for myself, by myself, in a new country. <laughs> no time to cry over my quarter life crisis. I have to think about what groceries I need to buy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And oh, would you look at that? The sun is out perfect weather to go do my laundry. Time to look for a GP here just in case my immune system decides to shut down on me and give me hives. Because why the hell not? As for my parents' reaction, they were pretty chill with my thought-out adult decision. You're gonna do what? Sweet! Free car. Guys, literally my, my little brother is going on road trips with my car and he hasn't paid me back. Isaiah, you better pay me back. New year, new me, new life. With only 10 days worth of clothes to cycle through and an Australian driver's license that no one approves of around here. Copium. I was playing speed run with my driver's license, government paperwork, bank, phone plan, you name it. I was starting everything from scratch and it was really, really crazy. What sucks for me right now is not having a car. Wait, actually, you know what? Having a car doesn't suck. What really sucks out here is the unreliable public transport because the buses almost always cancel on me. <sighs> It's fine. It's fine. I'm still going out and about and it gets me around. As long as this bus doesn't cancel on me, I should be good. F Another con of Auckland is the weather. You see, I moved here over the summer and you would think I would get the chance to, you know, go to the beach with my friends, right? No, wrong. Auckland weather really said, F your hot girl summer you can swim in flood waters literally we had the great flood and i don't know why this happened you want to go on a road trip 
Good luck trying to get over this. Beach trips? Have fun swimming in dirty infested snake waters. My friends and I went to watch the new Avatar movie and we had to get evacuated midway through the film because half of the car park was already submerged. At this point, I truly believe this is an act of God and sometimes you just have to roll with the punches life throws at you. No point in stressing out because I'm allergic to stress according to my GP. That's how I got the hives. And now I carry antihistamine around with me. Ding dong! Oh! My stuff is here! I can't wait to decorate my room with my belongings and start working on videos. Let's see what my parents put in the box. Where's my antihistamine? You know how the Great Flood happened here? Turns out the airport got flooded and my package was swimming in flood waters the whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. The moment I took out my diary and saw that it was soaked and unreadable, I freaking lost it, guys. My clothes had wet cardboard stains on them and smelt like wet cardboard. My books and my diary were soaked. My brand new laptop got water damage. I freaking bawled my eyes out on the couch while my roommate took all my stuff out of the box because I physically could not do it. I thought I would get at least a taste of home because by then I was already missing my old life. But it turned out these external forces did not want any of that for me. Not gonna lie, it was pretty bad when it all happened. But my friends pulled through. Ah, yes. Cue in the power of friendship. They were even thinking of ways to salvage my diary. Like these monkeys really thought of putting it in the microwave to dry it. But they're my monkeys. And in a way, they became my new family here. And maybe, maybe this event was supposed to happen. Maybe it's supposed to be an expensive and hard lesson for me. Some things fall into place naturally and some don't. Or maybe those things just need more time to fall into place, but not the way that we expect it to. What I'm trying to say is that I'm learning a lot and adulting is quite frustrating and expensive and confusing. Like, I really don't know, but it's all worth it. Now you know the reason why I haven't been working or posting videos because, well, life happened. And my laptop got water damaged, so she's low-key dead right now. So yeah, apologies for this scuff video, but I gotta work with what I got, okay? I'll be going to VidCon US this June, so that would be cool. I can't wait to see you guys there, and I can't wait to see all my American friends. Hi guys, can't wait! <laughs> Taking a break from YouTube has made me miss you guys so much and I really miss drawing for fun like this. I know that my persona looks totally different now as you can see. And that's because I thought that it was high time I changed up my character design after like 5 years. Honestly, it's all thanks to Gabrielle Piccolo's character illustration class on Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. In Gabrielle's class, he goes over his techniques on utilizing body movements, facial expressions, and colors to enhance his character designs and storytelling in his art. It's what makes Gabrielle's style stand out because there's so much story in his piece that make his audience feel like they have to rewatch Teen Titans all over again. Of course, creative classes like photography, film and video editing, and illustration aren't the only courses you can find on Skillshare. There's quite a lot more, actually. Skillshare is an online learning platform that offers a range of classes on professional development, career, and lifestyle. If you want to learn how to use your time productively as a freelancer, there's a class on time management. If you want to start a business but don't know the necessary steps on how to build one, there's a class for that too. Heck, I've been cooking so much now that I moved out, I could just search up cooking classes and boom, dinner is served. No goal is too small and the possibilities are endless. So if you're interested in joining, the first 1000 people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Consider supporting my channel by clicking on the link below. Thank you for watching and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I think I'm going to be doing more chill laid back videos like this from 
from now on because I am having way more fun with this kind of video drawing style. Let me know if you guys like this sort of video as well. Anyway, that's it for me. See you in the next video. Love ya!